Hello, welcome to Geojit Spotlight. The near term market outlook has turned slightly negative. There is a risk off in risky assets globally. The mother market US has turned distinctly weak. S&P 500 is down 18 percentage year till date. Nasdaq is down 26 percentage. The US 10 year bond yield has surged to 3.34 percentage. The dollar index is above 110. This will adversely impact capital flows to emerging markets like India. India is relatively better placed compared to other emerging other, other markets, both developed and emerging. The eurozone is in a serious energy crisis and high inflation. The eurozone economy is on the verge of recession. China is reeling under the twin problems of a deepening property market crisis and the severe lockdowns caused by zero COVID policy. The US economy is strong but slowing down. Indian economy is strong but uh, we cannot remain immune to the challenging global economic environment. India's economic growth too will be impacted uh, next year but we are relatively better placed. That's why FIIs have again turned buyers in India after nine months of relentless selling from October 2021 to July 2022. Market valuations in India continue to be high compared to emerging market peers. MSCI India index is now trading at above 100 percentage premium to MSCI emerging market index. At high valuations, markets are vulnerable to corrections. But Indian market is showing remarkable resilience and strength. Partly this is due to the relatively strong performance of the economy. The other important factor is the enthusiastic participation of retail investors who are buying every dip in the market. From June last year through June this year, FII sold equity worth more than 4 lakh crores in India. This was easily absorbed by DIIs supported by retail investors. So the massive FII selling did not impact the market much. This new development in the Indian capital market is hugely significant. Going forward, domestic economy facing segments are likely to do well. Financials, particularly leading banks, capital goods, telecom, FMCG and autos will continue to be strong segments. From the valuation perspective, PSE banks are attractively valued.